day starts with a good cup of coffee. As the sun is back on the roads of the Tour de France, the riders are to tackle the longest stage of the year without Rui Costa. The world champion didn't start this morning, he's been ill for a few days. It takes 75 kilometers for the breakaway to form itself after the descent of the Côte de Pamier Pass. 21 men ride in the front, including several stage winners, Bakelands, Vaucler and Galopin. Before the last climb, also the hardest one, the pack is 12 minutes behind the leaders. Multiple attacks take place in the break, like here with Jérémy Roy. Meanwhile, the yellow jersey group is left with around 25 riders. Nibali is helped by three teammates and Van Garderen is dropped. Five men are together in the downhill. The breakaway riders aren't afraid to take the bends at 70 km per hour. But five kilometers from the finish line, Michael Rogers suddenly goes solo and flies to a happy victory at the end of an epic day. Yeah, well, uh, I think um, Lawrence did an excellent uh, job. Uh, he, uh, He's, he's, a, he's at a level uh, I think uh, he never had before, so uh, he can be really proud on what he's doing. With three on the top, the first one got away in the downhill and the uh, second one punctured and I was behind him and then I was alone. That was basically the, my story of today. It's headwind, you feel the wind. I came there from there, it's, <laughs> so uh, it was headwind all the way and it was not so nice to be alone in the headwind. I'm happy with uh, the legs, but I'm a little bit pissed off with, uh, with the result. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Bauke is, is not at uh, the shape uh, like you want. Um, yeah, he's capable of more, but that's the Tour de France. Uh, you have to stay fit for three weeks. Um, I admire his, uh, his mentality, his uh, fighting spirit. Um, but yeah, okay, uh, he, loses, uh, he loses time today. And um, yeah, okay, that's a, that's a tour and uh, we have to deal with it and, uh, and look forward now.